Hey guys, Suzaville, what's up man? Um, I have some power cord options for large knife carry. Um, you can use it for pretty much anything. But uh, improvised power cord. Um, I did a couple in the winter and I didn't get to do the cobra knot on them. So here's what I come up with. I kind of got the regular cobra knot. I've got some accessory cord that's woven into it so I can attach paste beads, compass, whatever. I've got an optional hook here. Basically you can use a beaner. This one just happens to be uh, a black one. You can hook it to your pants if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to. What happens is your carry goes from this position down low. If you clip it in, your knife carry will move up to that position. Um, you've got options with, uh, I put some more accessory cord with some uh, black clips on here so I can quickly remove the um, knife and sheet and such. And uh, I like having the option of this um, bandolier style carry. Uh, just if you got a heavy blade and you're, and you're uh, jumping around, sometimes you don't want it on your belt, especially if you're climbing or something. Um, the other option I came up with for large knife carry, and I mean, this can be adapted to uh, firearms and such. I had done a, uh, I had done a shoulder holster carry with just a regular piece of power cord without the uh, cobra knot. And you're not gonna wanna continue the cobra knot straight through. You're gonna wanna end it, put a figure eight knot in it or something, a knot to your liking. And what happens is this way you can twist it without having the uh, power cord get all screwed up. All right, put it over. Now here's what happens. You've got, uh, I mean, you could use this for firearms in a magazine, but you've got an option of which side you're gonna carry. If you wanna carry your knife under this position here, and I'll just use this as a quick example. I, all I did was tie a small knot on the um, on the lanyard sticking out here and reclipped it and um, kind of loop it around your belt. And uh, it's a sweet carry position. I mean, you've got the option of uh, having a quick draw. And it's a big knife, so if you're going to be carrying it, um, I like this. A lot of times right here is in the way for moving your legs and for, and for climbing and such. And right here gives me a little more latitude. So that's what it looks like when it's in that position. And like I said, um, pull this thing off and you've got a belt, you've got a, a backpack straps, whatever you need. So it's a good improvised uh, device. This carry is usually very comfortable, especially with my BK2. I should have grabbed that one. But um, you can move this um, up into the backpack position simply by tossing it. And if you need to carry... Uh, whatever a, a, a satchel or something you've got an optional carry for back there also got an optional carry for cross the shoulder machete carry um it's up it's up in this position if you need it and all the way down here and all by just twisting it around so i uh, thought it was a pretty neat idea but once again you're going to want a pivot point here so you you're going to um just stretch out your power cord as if you were making a bracelet and um, wear it as a, as a shoulder harness and see what's comfortable and then build this around it. You also got an option to loosen this knot and give yourself a little bit more girth if you're wearing winter clothing. So you wanna, you wanna kinda make it um, summer, a summer length and then an additional amount so you can uh, adjust for layering. All right guys, um, like I said, you can probably think of a million other things to do with this. I mean, you could probably get this going as a belt improvised belt uh, you can go again with an, with the uh, improvised uh, bandolier if necessary so just uh, a neat idea for um, guys that are always outdoors and switching their rigs up all right guys safe trails peace